Hi guys, myself Vijay Tawardhan and in this video lecture session I am going to show you a solution on projection of plane surfaces. And an example problem is like this, a hexagonal lamina of size 30 mm has one of its corners in VP and its surface is inclined at 30 degree with VP. The diagonal passing through that corner which is in VP appears to be inclined at 40 degree to HP. Draw the projections of the lamina according to the given condition. So one has to construct a hexagonal lamina. So for which go to applications, macros, run macro, select inside polygon, click on open and select the flat length. The flat length is supposed to be taken as 30 millimeter according to the condition given in the question. And the number of sides in hexagon are always 6. Then click on the apply relationship. Then using the cursor place the hexagon anywhere in our screen and then select the hexagon and rotate this hexagon in such a way that it is supposed to be the corner resting now it is going to be the side resting now change it to corner resting using the rotate command and place the hexagon at the required position then make use of a line command with the thickness of 0 0.13 one can start drawing the projectors from all the respective corners till the xy line to draw its top view once this is completed then using the line command change the thickness to 0 0.5 millimeter join the uh, top view like this as a split line so that this split lines is going to help us to draw the projectors in the next stages then make use of the smart dimension show that the size of the hexagon is 30 millimeter then using the text command start naming the corners as a dash and this corner will be named as b dash and accordingly c dash and this is going to be the d dash f dash sorry e dash and then finally this is going to be the f dash according to this here in the top view it will be named as a and b f and then c e and then d now once it is finished the surface is inclined at 30 degree to vp hence one has to select the top view then go to a move command move with respect to the corner a reposition it on the xy line at appropriate distance then go to rotate command and we know that a is supposed to be on the xy line so select a as a fixed point d as a rotating point and the angle of rotation is 30 degree and rotate the slam in about 30 degree now one can see that there is a problem in the rotation henceforth we will repeat the rotation command so one has to select it then select A as a fixed point, D as a rotating point, the angle of rotation is 30 degree. Now it is properly rotated. Then make use of angle between command. The angle between XY line to this line is supposed to be 30 degree. Then make use of a line command with a thickness of 0 0.13. Starting with the right extreme corner, connect D to D and the respective projectors also to A and let me draw the projector for A and then the next right extreme is C the connect C to C along with C we have B also F also and E also so we will draw the respective projectors like this which is going to complete the required constructions for us and afterwards using the text command whatever the projected points are there name it properly using the text command like this a dash b dash c dash d dash and this is going to be e dash and then f dash and once it is finished make use of a line command with the thickness of 0 0.5 millimeter join the respective corners of a dash b dash c dash d dash like this And once it is finished, this is going to complete the second stage construction. And the third stage it is showing that appears to be inclined at 40 degree to HP. This is an apparent angle. Now the line if you are going to measure that is also called as apparent uh, length only. So one need not to construct an apparent angle. So whatever this apparent length is there that is 51.96 can be constructed directly on the apparent angle. So for which uh, go to a line command with a thickness of 0 0.13 one can draw an apparent line and then to be taken as 40 degree so for which one has to go for angle between command select the angle between these two lines and set it for 
40 degree. Once it is set for 40 degree, now rotate this lamina on that line. So select the lamina and then go to a command called as move. Make sure that the corner D and A is supposed to be on the line. So let me get the position of D on this line and then that is 40 degree line. Then go to rotate and D is already on 40 degree line. Now A has to be shifted on the 40 degree line like this. Now after which make use of a line command with a thickness of 0.13. So draw the necessary projectors with the right extreme corner as a start point. Now C dash is going to be connected to C and along with C we have E. So let us project the corner E and then we have the next extreme corner is D dash. So D dash is going to be connected to D dash properly and then the next extreme corner is B. So B is on this position then connect B to B and then along with B we have F. So let us connect F. Now F lock the angle as 90 degree to avoid confusions and then A dash is on the X Y line. Then one can see that E dash is uh, coming below the X Y line, reposition it above the X Y line. Then make use of the text command, name the respective corners like E A and this is going to be B, this is going to be C, D, E and this is going to be F. Then using a line command with a thickness of 0.5 millimeter, join A to B, B to C, C to D, D to E, E to F and F to E. Now by this one can say that the problem is completed as per the given conditions. And please do subscribe to my YouTube channel and also do share this video to all your first year engineering students. And if you have any doubts to solve this problem, feel free to contact me. Thank you guys. Thank you for watching my video. Thank you once again.